How do you make a cookie better? Well, you put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. Ice cream sandwiches! All right, we're going to make ice cream sammies. These cookies are so easy that you will think you're doing them wrong. We've made them before and it literally all goes in here at once, which is so bizarre. So here we go. Here, I found some cocoa powder. Why not open two at once? That's what I always say. But um, this is natural. Now, the recipe calls for dutched. But you can, you can use dutched or frankly, you can use natural, which is what we're gonna use. Um, and it is, it's three quarters of a cup of cocoa. Not cocoa, cocoa powder. If you use hot chocolate mix, guess what it has in it? Sugar, so be, don't use that. You can in an emergency. Three quarters of a cup, good luck. Not making a mess. Oh my God, are we actually gonna do it without making a mess? <laughs> the answer is no. Ah, you know, what I, you know what I didn't do? Which is a dinner party tonight, no, no. I didn't check to make sure the machine is aligned before I put the dry ingredients in. So always do this, guys. Yeah, we're okay. We did have a fan that said to put your finger in the hole, um, which works, but it's still unsteady. And if there's a lot of dry ingredients, you just don't wanna do that. Um, that's three quarters of a cup of, we used natural cocoa. And then we need a cup and a half of flour, regular old flour. You know, I like to do this, the coronation style. This is a great thing. They will keep in your fridge if you wrap them in, you know, you can wrap them in wax paper if you're super industrious and cool. Um, or you can wrap them in tin foil or even saran wrap and just keep them in the fridge. Kids love them. Quarter teaspoon baking soda. This is normal sugar. You can use a Baker's Special from King Arthur if you'd like. And a lot of salt because it's chocolate. You want salt in your chocolate cookies. There we go. I'm now going to pulse. Okay, I combined it. Now here comes the weird part. And this is the part where you're gonna think, surely this is wrong, okay? I'm just gonna dump in a stick and three quarters of butter right in there. Seems weird. So this is two sticks, right? Of softened plugra. I'm gonna eyeball one and three quarters. So one is half, right? Three quarters is here, in my opinion. Parousi. Here we go, walking down the street. We get the funniest looks from, this is gonna seem weird, everyone we meet. Hey, hey, we're the cookies. All right, here we go. The funny thing about shooting dinner party tonight is that we end up with like 5,000 pounds of whatever it is we're making because we have the pre-made one, the magic of television. So I have like currently like 4,000 pounds of cookie batter in my house. Maybe not the world's worst thing. Three tablespoons of milk. Yeah, three tablespoons. I would distribute this. And now we're gonna pulse this and we're gonna see the miracle of a dough. Here we go. Pulse. Now, if I don't like it, or if it's taking too long, I might put a tiny bit more milk. Seems a tiddly touch dry to me. So I'm gonna put in a tiddly touch of milk. There you go. Okay. Now, we're going to roll this into quite large fat rolls. Take some saran wrap. Don't cut it. Take some dough. You want a pretty hefty piece. Because think of the circle of your, your cookie, right? So, of course this should be around the other way, but Okay, should really be round the other way, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. 
All right, that's good. Now I'm looking at the side and I'm thinking about a cookie sandwich. Don't worry about the creases. Don't worry about any of that. Fold this over. I know we've done this before, but why not show you again? Do not tuck this. It's saran wrap to saran wrap. Now I'm just gonna go like that. I'm gonna tear off the piece. And now I'm gonna just go like this. It's kind of satisfying. All right, you wanna put this in your fridge like this, as we've said, preferably in a cold place between two cold things, like a seltzer. Okay. I'm just gonna do the same thing to the to the one. Okay, pat, 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 pat. Roll it, pat, roll it again. Fold it, saran wrap to saran wrap. I'm trying to make it nice. Roll it, cut it. Booyakasha! <laughs> Magic of television. Uh, this is the stub remaining from the cookies I made last night. Remember the rule. When you cut these, you gotta keep turning the, the log because otherwise you'll get a fl one side flat as you press down. It's kind of, this is actually slightly nerve wracking, this part. Also because I'm really bad at it. Cut them thick. Not that thick, but thick. See how it's starting to get a flat side? There. Turn. Cut, you're gonna mess some of them up, don't worry about it. Uh, these do spread, un pooty poo, a little bit. So give them some space. And I'm gonna press some chips on the top of a couple of these just to see what happens. Gently. Um, this is kind of an experiment. If you had white chocolate chips, that could be very nice. Uh, you could also put chocolate chips in your ice cream. Now I make my own ice cream, as you know, you don't have to, but you should make your own cookies. It's so easy. Beautiful, here they go. Come on, little cookies, let's go to the oven. Look at how badly cut that is. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's like super fat and super thin. Okay, here we go. We don't know if the, what the chips are gonna do, but we'll see. The chips are down where the chips are up. <laughs> Here we go. Eight minutes, I don't know. Nine minutes, 12 minutes, I don't know. 350. So these are ready. Here we go. So alarmingly, the American chocolate chips didn't melt. So I'm gonna take these to a cooling rack. Voila, comme ça. Better to get them off the plate because uh, they'll just continue cooking. Perfection incorporated. Don't worry if they feel a little soft because uh, they get very crispy as they, as they cool, okay? I'm now going to shave some chocolate because I had an idea to roll the edges in shaved chocolate. So this is a very good candy bar called a sea salt. I love this candy bar. Oh yeah, it's working perfectly. Oh my God. I mean, I thought we could put chocolate chips around the edge of another one in case you were missing your dialysis machine. <laughs> Uh, this should be cold, should be in the fridge. Newsflash, I forgot. I was so dazzled by the wrapper. Fridge. Okay, what do you, how do you make an ice cream sandwich? I think it's pretty simple. I'm picking two good ones. Nice thick ones, there we go. Gonna get my ice cream, which I have gently defrosted in the fridge. So it's a bit creamy-like. And, oh, it's quite creamy. Oh dear, okay. Ice cream. Little bit of ice cream, oh yeah, little bit of ice cream, oh yeah. Oh, ice cream sandwich. 
The ice cream is melting today. These are gonna be so good after they take the pictures of them, you guys. You're gonna be eating some ice cream sandwiches. They don't have to be thick like the one you buy in the store. These are eleganza. We oui. tray eleganza. You can make them that thick. We've, of course, overly melted the ice cream, so it's a little more difficult. Shave chocolate. Press it. So the ice cream comes out a little bit. Press it out. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. It's a little rustic, but what can you do? Okay? Look at that. Homemade ice cream sandwich. I'm going to put these right in the freezer. And basically, you can just continue filling and freezing. Eventually, I'll take those out and put a little covering on them. But uh, we're just making ice cream sandwiches. It's kind of fun. It's a little nerve-wracking, but it's also kind of fun. This is totally overly melted. We went to the store and we bought some ice cream because our ice cream was melting horribly. Uh, this is now almost melted too much too, which is hilarious. Okay. I'm going to see Sweeney Todd on Sunday with Josh Groban, who is certainly a great singer and is certainly not Sweeney Todd. But God bless him, he probably knows that. My suspicion is the kid knows. Because when they asked him, what was your first thought when they cast you? He said, I'm not old enough to play Sweeney. He's completely right. But then he goes, well, wait a second, I'm 43. And I'm like, anyways, much better. Other ideas for rolling, you can roll it in nuts. You can roll it in rainbow sprinkles. You can roll it in uh, chocolate chips, I guess. So I'm gonna make one more. I'm gonna try filling this one up really a lot. Uh, so I'll tell you how it was. I mean, Josh Groban sings on key and he's a good singer. I'm not going to see Josh Groban. I'm going to see Sweeney Todd with a live orchestra, uh, which I honestly cannot wait. This one broke. Don't worry about it. We did ours because we had an emergency and we had to immediately put them in the freezer. So ours are all chocolate shavings, but yours don't have to be. I'm going to put these in the freezer. Attend the tale of Sweeney Todd. Oh, whoa. just to hear the music live. I've seen it so many times, but it's, and I know it by heart. Obviously the best Sweeney, in my opinion, is George Hearn. Len Cariou fans, you have my affection, but G George is Sweeney. Anyways, icebox cookies. These will keep for, honestly, for weeks if you wrap them. And they're really nice. Kids, kids love them. It's a great summer treat. Are the ice cream sandwiches done? Are the ice cream sandwiches yum? Let's see by tasting one. They're not the most beautiful ice cream sandwiches, but the, the product is good. Oh, I individually wrapped them in tin foil. <gasps> oh my God, this one's not rolled. Or if it was rolled, it all came off. Not the best looking thing, but here we go. Is there a taste tester in the house? Miss Regina Bettencourt! Yay! Okay, here we go. All right. Looks good. That's the, what? That's the bad side, don't show the camera, yeah. <laughs> oh. Mmm, mmm, cold. Oh, it was so good. Is it good? Let me tell you why it's so good. Tell me why, Reggie. Because the cookie is homemade. I'm not a processed cookie. Mmm, well. I probably could eat this whole thing. It's yours. It's a summertime treat. It's a summertime treat. Summertime, summertime, sum, sum, summertime, summertime. Mm. The cookie is so good. down the street we get the funniest looks from everyone we meet hey hey we're the cookies <laughs>